Welcome and thanks for joining us for our latest installment of our Flavored Whiskey series. Today we were feeling a little bit nutty and we're featuring peanut butter. My name is Christina and this is the Liquor Camp. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't seen our other flavored whiskey videos, what we do is we pick a flavor, we go out and get as many of them as we can find and bring them back here. We break them down for you, let you know which ones to avoid, and our favorites. Today, I have 11 peanut butter flavored whiskeys for you. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll even give you a couple of shot recipes to enjoy them with. If you're new here, the shelf sitter category are the ones that we think you should leave sitting on the shelf at the liquor store and not sitting on your shelf at home. The first one up is Cincinnati Distilling Company. It just falls flat. It doesn't have a very strong peanut butter flavor and it doesn't have a very strong whiskey flavor. They really just need to do better. Our next one is was a surprise to us because Old Smoky tends to put out some really good flavors. Unfortunately, their peanut butter whiskey was just not one of them. It had identifiably a peanut butter flavor and it had an identifiable whiskey flavor, but for some reason it just was not meshing well. So this one's a shelf sitter. Our next one up is Ugly Dog. Now Ugly Dog's other flavors have been in uh, high up in our other videos and this one was also a surprise to us for that reason. This peanut butter whiskey has a very super sweet flavor to it. It's got uh, a strong, rich vanilla flavor to it as well, but it doesn't really come off as peanut butter. It, it actually has a artificial flavor to it that we just really didn't like, and it's a shelf sitter. The last one in our shelf sitter category really, um, we really struggled with it. Um, it is hard truth peanut butter whiskey. Um, I didn't really want to put this in the shelf sitter category because it's a fantastic product. However, it is not a peanut butter flavor. It comes across as butterscotch. Um, and so much so, in fact, we even checked the website to see if it was possibly a mislabeled bottle, but they don't offer a butterscotch. So we really think this is what they are putting forth as a peanut butter. It just doesn't, it's not a peanut butter flavor. Um, as a matter of fact, if folks at Hard Truth, if you're watching this and if you take this back and label this as butterscotch, it comes right out of that shelf sitter category and into the mix again because it is a fantastic butterscotch whiskey. It's just not peanut butter. And I don't want you to be disappointed thinking that you're getting a peanut butter whiskey when you're not. Now that we have the shelf sitters out of the way, let's move on to the ones that we liked and the ones that we recommend you give a shot. The first two are Sheepdog and Rams Point Peanut Butter Whiskey. Both of these are together because they're so similar that we kind of felt like they were pretty much interchangeable. Both are 70 proof whiskey, both retail for about $15 to $16 a bottle, and they're both uber sweet. Uh, Sheepdog has a really good peanut butter flavor and it kind of has the feel of a more of a peanut brittle type peanut butter flavor. Really, really good, really super sweet. Ram's Point uh, kind of comes across as being a more of a payday candy bar type flavor. Still really good, really good peanut butter flavor. Both of these though are really, really sweet. And the sweetness kind of was a little bit too much for us. Um, and that's why they're first up and kind of a lower in the ranking is because it's just super syrupy sweet. If you really like that candy flavor and that really sugary sweet, you're gonna love these. Next up coming in in our number four position is Revelstoke Nut Crusher Peanut Butter Whiskey. This is a 70 proof whiskey and like most of the other ones, retails for about 15 to $16 in our area. It, the folks at Revelstoke seem to be taking their flavors in really out of the box and unique directions. Nut Crusher peanut butter whiskey is no different. It's like sticking your face into a bag of freshly roasted peanuts. Really good flavor, very bold, really unique. And if you really want something that has uh, a lot of peanut flavor in it, this is definitely the one I would tell you to pick up. Coming in at number three is Blind Squirrel Peanut Butter Whiskey. This is also a 70 proof whiskey and retails in our area for about $18. Really good choice. It has a, a really nice balance 
between the sweetness and that rich peanut butter flavor that you're usually looking for when you're picking up a peanut butter whiskey. It has a nice mouth feel and a real buttery flavor to it, but it's a little bit less syrupy sweet than the other ones. Struck a really good balance and this is a solid choice. Next up, coming in at our number two position is Bird Dog Peanut Butter Whiskey. This is another familiar name and they've featured in a lot of our other flavored whiskey videos because Bird Dog produces consistently good flavored whiskeys. Peanut butter is no exception. It's an 80 proof whiskey. It retails for around $15. It has a wonderful peanut butter flavor to it. Not overly sweet, but there is some sweetness in there. And it has a lot of other supporting flavors that balance it out. You can taste the brown sugar. You can taste the vanilla in there. And the peanut butter isn't overwhelming either of those flavors. You can even still taste the whiskey. Really good pick. Would definitely recommend this if you're wanting to save a little money and still get a really good peanut butter whiskey. So while we're on the subject of nutted whiskeys, I wanted to mention this one in particular, Revel Stoke Roasted Pecan. While we were out gathering up our nuts for the other peanut butter whiskeys, we came across this one and around about the same time, the folks at Revel Stoke commented on one of our other previous videos and recommended this one along with their nut crusher. We decided to grab it and it's worth a mention in this video, but before I get into that, I want to take a moment to shamelessly beg you to subscribe to our channel. We are a new channel and it would help us a lot if you would click on that like button and hit the subscribe. Currently, about 95% of our viewers are not subscribed to our channel and we're hoping you can help us out with that but we're trying to grow our channel. We'd love to also grow our community and we want you to be a part of it. Also, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, any flavors you'd like us to try, any particular spirits you want us to review, please put those in the comments below and we will get to them. Now, back to Rebel Stoke. This one is actually the same proof as the other Nut Crusher that they have out there, but it's a totally different flavor. If you are someone that likes butter pecan ice cream or pecan pie or however you want to say that, pecan, pecan, I don't know, however you want to say it, if you love that flavor, you're going to love this whiskey and it's worth a mention in this video. We enjoyed it a lot and we definitely think you will too. Back to the peanut butter. So when we were looking at picking our number one favorite pick, me and the other half of the camp, his name is Rocky, he doesn't do much, but I like to give him a say because he takes care of, you know, all of the camera work, all of the editing, all of the lighting and the audio. So he gets a little bit of a say because I'm a generous person. He and I differed greatly on which one of these last two were actually edging out the other for number one. So much so, in fact, we could not come to an agreement. We like both of these, we think they're phenomenal, but each of us had a different opinion on which one edged out the other. In Rocky's opinion, the quintessential peanut butter flavor of screwball peanut butter whiskey was just a little bit better than the natural, little bit less sweet peanut butter flavor of squirrel. I liked the squirrel, he liked the screwball. Both of these are phenomenal choices. They're equally proof. They both come in at 70 proof and they only differ in price by about $5. If you're looking to do a shot, both of us do agree that either one of these choices would be a phenomenal pick. However, if you're looking for that, I just opened a fresh jar of Jif or Skippy peanut butter flavor, screwball is your jam. If you're looking more for a natural peanut or, or an organic peanut butter flavor, then I think squirrel is the better choice. Either one of these would be phenomenal picks and there's a reason we could not come to an agreement. They're both fantastic and they deserve to be number one. So I promised you some shots, so let's grab these nuts and go get some shots. And we're back. Now you wouldn't know this, but it is a couple of days later because we found out in editing that the mic was not working in this section of the video. So we basically just got to test our shots again. For the record, I'm not complaining. The first one I have for you is PB&J. 
Now, because screwball whiskey tastes like you basically just opened a fresh jar of Jif or Skippy, this is the perfect recipe for this particular peanut butter whiskey. All you do is put in an ounce of screwball whiskey into a shot glass and add a half an ounce of Chambord liqueur. Now, Chambord liqueur is a black raspberry liqueur. You can use a grape liqueur, a strawberry liqueur, however you wanna do your PB&J. And because we here at the camp feel like you should never do shots alone and bring back Rocky to share these with me. PB&J. Cheers. Tastes like my childhood in a shot glass. On to the next shot recipe I chose for our other favorite flavor, squirrel. This is chocolate peanut butter cup. For this recipe, you want to take an ounce of squirrel peanut butter whiskey, combine it with a half an ounce of Bailey's Irish cream and a half an ounce of Godiva chocolate liqueur, put it all into a shaker full of ice, shake it to combine and chill, and strain it into a shot glass. Now for this recipe, you could really amplify this one and make it a cocktail and pour it into a chilled martini glass, but for us here today, we're doing shots. Chocolate peanut butter cup. Good. Now for both of these, these are so yummy. They're very easy to want more and more of. So please make sure you're drinking responsibly with these. If you like flavored whiskeys, please go check out our flavored whiskey series right over here. Thank you for joining us and we'll see y'all back here at the camp. So let's get a little bit nuts. So let's set up these nuts. <laughs> we found some fine nuts for y'all. So let's get our hands on these nuts. Let's grab some nuts. I feel like I need a shower. <laughs>